The Hauraki Golf Marine Park is New Zealand's national park of the sea, and Tafranui is one of our latest marine reserves inside that park. It's very easy to make a marine reserve. You just stop fishing and everything will come back. If you compare that with the amount of effort, hundreds of thousands of man hours go into restoring places like Tiri Tiri Island. But in the sea, all you've got to do is just stop fishing. And it all comes back. And it all comes back. And the fishermen love them once they're in. They all love to fish around them. It's often hard to get a marine reserve in the first place, but even the commercial fishermen are happy with it. Down here, we Kiwis take protecting our sea life as seriously as we do the life on the topside. We've got 34 marine reserves, and just like all our national parks, they're there to be enjoyed by everyone. They're all pretty accessible, including the Mokahinau Islands. It's been recognised as an area that's special and being set aside. You've got a bunch of invertebrate communities, you've got ascidians, you've got soft corals, kelp, sponges. Was that what you were giving the old underarm scrub there? Yeah, so you knew that it was a sponge, because it's kind of a different world down there. Like, it's pretty drab and grey up top, but as soon as you get down there, it's just a rainbow. Yeah, well, see, I'm really used to it, and it's nice to hear you being surprised and impressed by that. It's great. Yeah, yeah. nice. That fish, when we came across that broken kinnit. That's the big male sand dadger's wrasse. He's the big boss on the reef. He's a very colourful guy. I mean, yeah. Just about tame, they'll come up and eat right out of your hand. Yeah. It's beautiful down there. I mean, I hadn't expected to see so much colour and look like something out of the tropics, really. Yeah, right. Colourful fish, beautiful sponge encrusting communities, soft corals. Yeah, amazing communities. Like down in the clear waters off Goat Island, the first marine reserve started over 40 years ago. The big individuals and great numbers of fish you can only find in those marine protected areas now. So grab your snorkel, wade in, and get wild about New Zealand. Seriously man, one of the biggest buzzes I get is taking kids into that marine reserve at Goat Island and seeing the look on their face when they see those big snapper. Everywhere else, they're like mythical beasts. You don't see them anymore. Lucky for all of us, 